welcome to Into the Pit and another episode of Greatest Cover Artworks. Another artist that hasn't been active in a long time, but he certainly crafted some of the greatest artworks in the 80s. And I think he was as much a, a, like a house in-house designer for noise records. Um, probably a term he wouldn't use nowadays, but anyway, I think there is a bit of bad blood between um, noise, Karl Walter Bach and him. But anyway, um, we're here about the artwork and not the politics behind it. He proceeded to do a plethora of great artworks for Creator and Celtic Frost and also Death Row. Um, there might be some more that I've missed, but these are the ones that spring to mind. And the one that I'd like to elevate in this issue is uh, Creator's Pleasure to Kill. Now, once again, iconic. Um, I think the cover exactly underlines the title. And when you listen to the music, it's the, the cover is like a backdrop to it. You know, it's, it's just perfect. It fits. And um, he proceeded to do um, Creator's Terrible Certainty as well. And um, the Celtic Frost mini LP, Emperor's Return. I think it was Death Row's Raging Steel that he did as well. And um, yeah, just great artwork, you know, and really, um, I don't know what the story was there. Um, I think uh, didn't get really get reimbursed properly probably got reimbursed but not in the dimensions that he was thinking of and um, especially because his artwork was then used on merch and is being used to this day so I guess the artist always gets sort of shortchanged somewhere but it, I think it also depends on whatever you sign and what the agreement was uh, nobody knows and um, I'm a graphic artist myself and so I have had the odd encounter where the work wasn't sort of appreciated and uh, payment was, you know, people were dragging their feet and, you know, and refusing payment for some reason and um, trying to conjure up reasons to not pay you and making you jump through hoops and really just trying to discourage you from wanting what often were not even really high amounts for the work done. So, in any case, but um, Phil Levere, really great artist, um, has done some really iconic work, and um, this is a little shout out to him. And um, I was hoping to get him on the show in an interview. Maybe he changes his mind. He sort of said goodbye to the thrash scene, and. Um, but maybe he changes his mind and we can talk a little bit about his artworks and his experiences. I doubt that he's had direct contact to the band, but probably more with the management of the record company. We would find out more if he would join us on Into the Pit, but that remains to be seen. Anyway, Phil Levere, great cover artist. And of course, creators, pleasure to kill. What an iconic package. <laughs> 